Hey, is Ted actually working this time? Not. Boy, I love when I have over and over again. One second, I cannot. Yeah, I don't know why Streamlabs is not working. Actually, very annoying. Sure, go ahead and add it. All right, testing audio one, two, three. All right, testing audio one, two, three. All right, test. All right, slide echo there. Welcome to the off season. Sorry about the uh, ad stuff. I haven't obviously I don't stream much anymore, so I haven't really. Um, I haven't really done anything when it comes to ads. I'm just gonna get rid. So, uh, in all in all, apologies here. Switch a couple of things up real quick. Been thinking about redoing, like adding, updating the channel, but I'm just not streaming enough for me. Not like I used to. But that's okay. There are things that. Oh. See if my internet can keep. Problems. Hello. The thing is, we're not having gameplay tonight. If you're watching this live on Twitch, thank you so much. Um, not sure if I'm going to cut it down for YouTube or not, because I suck at editing and I don't want to pay anyone to edit. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know. But it won't be anything flashy. All right, so here we go. The offseason is here. I won't need headphones for this also. Uh, we have two players for free agent negotiations. Um, financials are going to be a problem, I think. That's 55. That's not counting, excuse me, the minor leaguers that we will have to sign. So, you know, there will be some guys that we probably won't be bringing back. Um, I guess they're not already on here. It's fine. They're not really considering them. We'll have some guys to go to arbitration, so we have some fun set to the side for that. Excuse me. Uh, we have our farm director that is retired or died or something, so we'll have to get a new one of them. Free agent negotiations. Uh, you know what? Jordan Hicks was actually pretty good for us. I, I just uploaded the video. I'm recording this on a Thursday. I just uploaded the video about the team recap. And um, I think I talked about how Jordan – well, I don't think I went into detail, but basically the bullpen was okay. They really were. They, they were better than last season, and Jordan Hicks was good. 32 saves, only blew seven, seven of them, and he had a sub-3 ERA, which is probably a career best, actually. Um, however, he's wanting a lot of money, as he should be asking for a lot of money. Um, and I just don't think – can do that. 7.8 is kind of too much for me. I know that sounds cheap, but we're the A. It's like, there's our budget down there at the bottom. We have some other, I guess, priorities to look at. We may look at a catcher and a first baseman. Uh, Luke Jackson, uh, I would like to bring him back now. He was good. We got him on waivers, I believe. And, uh... He was good for us. I would like to keep Luke Jackson not a long-term deal. Uh, he wants four years. Do we give him one for 2.6? We could possibly do that. Add him to the bullpen. Let's just see if he, if he accepts it. I think that's a simple 
very simple contract for him. I don't think he's going to have this type of year again. So I got to be very cautious how much we give him. So I'm going to offer him just a simple contract to see if he accepts. Jordan Hicks is probably going to go, like I said, because he wants close to $8 million a year. I mean, we could do one at 6.9, but just I just don't know if I'm going to do that. So it, I really don't know what our money situation is. So we offered Luke Jackson that contract. Everyone has got one year left, including our manager. So next offseason is going to be insanity when it comes to our uh, staff. So can't really fire anyone. Farm director, let's see who's available. You have to be a little mindful. Whoops. We do have to be a little mindful of who we sign. Antonio Johnson, Evan Morrison. And durability would be nice to have. We didn't really have a problem. We didn't really have a problem with injuries. Let's see here. Healing contact. Eh, maybe. Not bad. Get for not. Our pitchers developed really nicely last year. Our our double A affiliate actually went to the playoffs. They lost in the first round, but Really went into the playoffs. Uh, pick up Billinger. It's clutch. Eh. Building plate vision. Too worried about plate vision. More of a pitcher heavy. Jason Dilo Santos would be okay. But yeah, I, I don't know exactly what out here. All right, let's see here. Clutch is down, ceiling blocking contact. That's ceiling speed and bunting. I don't really care about bunting. I know I should, but I... Break fielding, Spencer Kang. Plus two walk per nine. That would be nice, break and fielding. Probably not the best, but... I'm leaning toward Kang right now. What does he want? Oh yeah, he wants a pretty cheap deal. Let's give him... Our pitching was actually really good. Pitching was actually very solid. Eighth in the league. See here, home runs per nine control. Okay, well, plate discipline's going down though. I mean, plate. I mean, we sure got a lot. Home runs per nine and control. We definitely need the control set. I'm gonna clutch bunting Lucas Beato. I'll give him. Boy, I'll be honest. Um, let's ain't that big of a deal right now. It's per nine go up one plate this power would go down. We did very good in our power category last year for this team. Let me go back and look at that uh, other guy. Low gang, I know that. There's King Tyler I Tyskiewicz. I could Tyskiewicz. But we are looking at farm director not.
I'm gonna have to fork up some money, I think. Michael Matlock. Matlock. Good lord. Dealing would be nice. Clutch would be nice. Plate vision. Okay, he's got two plus one on clutches. So that's thing. Um. Ah. 36 years old. Fielding, plate vision, velocity, stealing. Mac Blade one. one. I think our farm director is going to be taking the cut here. Let me go back. Andy Alamaji. Oh, yeah, honest, we'll probably go with King. 160 a year. 950 here, okay. Looking for 960. Give him my two year deal here. Don't know if he's going to accept that. Not to worry about rebranding for now. Now, do I need. I'll let people I got the players that we drafted last year already in here. Pedro Diaz, a closer, Will Thomas, another closer. Of course we took a picture in Charles uh Hanty. Twenty two years old though. Probably won't be a lot of our pitching looks solid. This like I said, we need a first. It, maybe another year Victor Villain away would be a nice contact guy, but not Villain. Okay. Now, why would I... Okay. Interesting. This could solve our catching problem, but it's not consistent enough for me. I'm gonna need something a little better than that. Nobody. They don't need a another catcher. Right doesn't make sense. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so the so Luis Castillo has exercised his option. Where does that change in the budget? And not a lot. Castillo will make thirteen mil. I think that's what he was gonna make anyway. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Um he actually should have had another year left on his deal. So, I guess he took a year off. I don't know what happened there. I'll have to go back in old footage and see where he was. But, in a way, he took a pay cut. Alright, so... King is still not offered yet. I mean, you're not that good, dude. Okay, so, I mean, that's normal. Flaherty was going to make 33 mil anyway. Okay, that's normal. Ender, 0.9. Okay, Langoliers, yes. What is going on with all of these options? I mean, that's normal. That's normal. 
Tinder got bumped up three hundred thousand dollars. Did these change? That's expected. What the heck? I don't know why some of these players picked up options. Uh, they're not in the last year of their contract, so I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Or Make it easy on me. I'm all about it. Your Mariners are interesting. What the hell? Why are you guys trying to get rid of Jorge Alfaro so much? We don't even have him on a contract. Why would we... Don't want Jorge Alfaro, I'm sorry. Even if it is for Cole Irvin, who's coming back anyway. Don't need Jorge Alfaro. Alright. No, no changes, Jackson still hasn't answered yet. Free agency one, I suppose. All right, let's save it. This is where things are going to get sticky. Good way. Good sticky. Like a halo sticky grenade. All right. Free agents. There are some free agents. We got salary arbitrations to offer. Of course, we got to tender all of our contracts. So let's get that out of the way first. We actually need to know where we're at. Some people won't be coming back. Fine. I think we had 98 and we need 93 players, but that's a lot here. Pretty sure I make this mistake every year. Reggie Jefferson, nice little fill in. Watson had a good year. Double A. Bring him back. Jed Cruz with the no hitter that he threw. Not a perfect game, though. Pedro Diaz. I believe he is a. Yeah. Well, no, he can't be. That Milburn at 58. One of these guys has got... He's 31. We're going to go back. Hellos. He's a good... He's declining, but he's actually a good player in our mind. Woodson, for some reason, the game can't put lead off, even though lead off, but the game. What you want? I'm the captain. Left field. All right, 27. I'm good there. Aiden McIntyre. We didn't really use him a lot. We're probably going to let him go. Loven had a lot of power, not much average last year. Selman. Holt. Dialyse, closing pitcher. He actually had a very good year as our closer. Tara. Definitely coming back. Harry Banks. Yes. White. Utility Man. Victor. Leva, yes. This dude had no home runs last year in the minor league system, but he had like 38 RBIs. So, what was that? Alan Pelusi. Berto Campos. He's still, man, he's making his way up. That's a lot of money, though.
No one long had a good year. We're bringing them, and look, these guys are just like minor league. I guess fluffer pieces is the right word. I don't know. A uh, Patton twenty three or Pimentel. Buddy Reed. Uh, we're gonna let him go. Uh, Stowers twenty seven. Got some opportunity to get something out of this guy. Dave Champion. Wacos. Yes, 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 yes. All these guys. Pick up loan. Probably for depth piece. Absolutely. Andrew White, 19. Build. He had a solid. Season in AAA. We're gonna start there. So Chad Meteoros. Absolutely. Let's bring him. well Tyson Saul. This guy was pretty good after I moved him to Jack Weisenberger. I could I mean if he has another good season, he could be in our bullpen next year. Give him 80k. Thermos Garcia. I I'll tell you what, man. I um I just don't have a reason to keep this man. Yeah, for 330k, uh, you're not no. Maybe 70, I would have kept you. You didn't really prove anything. No reason to have you. Kyle McCann, the game put him a lot in DH, and he did more damage as a DH than he did. He did more damage as a DH. Say, Nolan Jones, I'm probably going to have to let On the last year of his minor league, he's on the 40-man. Hmm. I guess we could use them as trade bait, right? If I take him off the 40, man, someone will probably claim him. He did all right in the minors. Max Shalman. Again, for depth, you know, injuries, sure. Andreas Samuel, this guy is trying. I'll Brett Harris, good player. Was hurt a majority of the last last year, but when he was good. Gabriel Inglese. Inglese. 80k for you. Pedro Castro. Now we're going to bring you back. Ochoa. Of course we got to bring Ochoa back. He's number one. According to this game, he is the number one player in our farm system. He is our number one prospect. We'll see if that changes as spring training comes back. He is the number one guy. Brent Honeywell, we're gonna we're gonna do part with him. Uh, the the trades, you know, the trade deadline. There, there was just nobody that wanted him. The returns for him weren't great. So we're gonna let Honeywell just go. Thirty years old. I know he tried to do good in Oakland, but it just wasn't. No. He's just not the guy we're looking for. We're going to let him go, and that alone is going to pocket us about 1.2 mil. Like, if we were to make him an offer, yeah, he wants to. He wants double his contract for. Elmo McDermott, a uh, guy that we drafted in draft um, 2023. He struggled a little bit in AAA. He's definitely going to be on. I don't know why he's on the 40 man, but he's on the 40 man. I'm okay with that, actually. That Giloff, um, I'm not going to lie. This guy's probably going to be a trade chip. Um, but Devers going to be on our team for at least two more seasons. Uh, yeah. A lot of these guys are so close to coming, getting ready for make their major league debut. 
Get some. This will be quite an overhaul. Number two prospect in our organization, Tyler Soderstrom. Yes, we're bringing him back. Richie Farmer. Didn't do a lot last year. Well, Valentine and Double A did some numbers last year. Nothing that's going to spring out and go boogie boogie. Center Hogland. Absolutely going to bring him back. CJ Rodriguez. Probably a filler. I don't know why he's on the 40 man, but he is. Ooh, 370. Ooh. Oh, but in three years, he wants 90K. Okay. I'll be willing to give you three years, man, and I'll even bump up your salary a little bit. Not much. I will definitely. Give you Let's give you maybe 300. We will probably put you at least platoon. Mackenzie Gore. This guy's going to be a gamble. It's going to be a gamble. Um, I don't know if he's going to perform. I really don't know if he's going to. We're going to make him pay for his. Uh, Got to show it, you know. Like to put him in the rotation. Give him a one year, seven fifty. See if he stays. Of course, Max Muncy, who will probably be our second baseman, beginning of this year. Of course, he's coming back. All right, so not bad. Eight mil cover our players. Salary arbitration. All right, this is gonna. Be Valeric, not coming back. Very well with us. Don't have a use for him on this team anymore. Austin Allen is also gone, hence why we're catcher. Louisa Rise, probably a very difficult decision. But I think, think I'm going to let him go. It, it wasn't because he wasn't good. 302. I mean, he had a, such a good year. Only 27, but we've got somebody waiting in the wings here. Taylor Hearn. I'd like to bring him back for long relief. No, he's going to want more. Let's give him 950. And see what he takes. Clay Holmes did very good. I would like to him for another year if possible 2.5 let's offer him some appreciation okay. let's see if he'll take 2.3 Pache of course turn it around Ooh, seven mil a year we'll give you a hefty increase because you Turn it around. Cole Irvin is going to leave. Zach Littell, 348, did the exact same. Pretty much the same. Hits were down, runs were down, earned runs were down, home runs were down, strikeouts were down, walks were down. And then he did the same thing. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I would like to keep him. 3.9, yeah, we're going to go to arbitration with you. Um, I will be willing to give you 2.4. Let's give you a million raise here. Just see if you take it. I don't know if he will take it. Let's see if he'll take it. We're letting three guys go that's going to save us some money. Four guys go. Four guys go. Okay, and the 40-man roster... Flaherty, Castillo, Caprillion, Mac, Gore, Irvin won't be here. Taylor Hearn. Relievers, Latell, Holmes, should they accept? Dermot's going to be in AAA. That's fine. Cleric won't be here. Deer is definitely going to come back to the majors. We'll worry about that later. Let's look at our 40. Pretty much everybody's here. 
everybody that we want is here, including the people. I really wish they would get rid of um the players that are not coming. These are people that we could lose in the draft. And I'll be honest, I'm not really going to miss any of these guys. We'll probably need to add Soderstrom. I believe he's not on the 40 man. That's okay because he'll be here eventually. So Giloff, um, probably going to lose him. 23, 36, 37 men on the roster. We have Devers. Juan Rodriguez. This dude just screams. We'll take a risk. If if someone takes Giloff, they take Giloff. It's whatever. We'll we'll let them slide. It's That's been done. Let's check out free agency. Oh, Soto, Nationals, unlike real life, given, well, I guess. Brandon Woodruff, no offers. 32 years old, didn't do that well last year. 27 million, that is out of our blood. Really hard to give a qualifying offer or an offer to anyone who is qualified. That's really not what we wanted. Catchers, we're gonna take a risk on catchers this year. Um, I don't really see anyone that I want. And Chapman's gonna walk everyone in the books. Catchers is where I'm wanting to look at. Hit 380, huh? Yeah, okay, so there's really not a lot here. Because there are qualifying offers. So, I guess this is where the trickiness kicks in. Uh, because, you know, A, we don't have as much money as we did last year. And B, there's either really good catchers or there's really bad catchers. Gallagher's 32, Pena, 37. Excuse me. Yeah, so there's really not a lot here to look at. Almost as Do you need diamond in the rough players here? Don't look, don't look, looks like it. Don't look like it. What about first base? A oh, Goldschmidt, 37. 280. We played 70 games last year. It hurt. It's declining at a rapid pace. A lot of these guys are declining at a rapid pace. So, <clears throat> we don't want anyone that's declining. It seems like what we're going to have to do, we are going to have to fly to Rafael Devers at first and probably look for a more bona fide third base. Now, it depends on how many of these guys are free after the wave, which... Gordon White, I mean, nothing defensively. Maybe we could put him at first. Not good at fielding, but... Donaldson, Mustaka, Shaw, Franco. Here. No diamond in the rough player.
All about taking chances here. I know Bregman's going to want to watch. I mean, I guess theoretically we could swing it, but I just don't want to. We need to keep some of that money around Christian Arroyo, who was just being... Like, he was on waivers from the Red Sox last year in the franchise. And look what he came back to do. Like, no one took him. We had a chance to take him, and we didn't. And look what he did last year. So he bet on himself for sure, and it's paying off. I like this Jordan White guy. Jordan White, comma, guy. From New York, he play first base. Of course, he won't be in left field. I would be interested to see how he does at first base. He's not going to be great defensively, but neither was, you know, fantasy Cubs franchise player Jose Melendez. He was not very good at fielding. I think he was only in his 50s. So... Building wise, but this guy's pretty much a one tool player, uh, or one facing play. He doesn't do well against left, so we could probably start him against righties, and then yeah, he's probably gonna start a climb. Fifty k a year. Ooh, we could we risk it? We could offer him a contract, let him try spring training. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens because. Everybody else is declining, and that's just not what I'm about. Diaz. Diaz, look at that. Point 0.9. Okay. We're going to leave. We're going to withdraw our offer. We're going to let free agency first come in. See what we can hear. No diamond in the rough player. Okay, there's one. Bryce Weber. Okay. Nice potential project. Another one, Mike Ryan. Another nice potential. 56 overall, 21 years old at 5'8". 5'8", 52 overall at 19. Forty-three, forty-seven, forty. Vision, one vision, clutch. That's a tough one. Um, regardless, these guys are going to be. Uh, uh, what I'm looking for. Experimental pieces for up the farm system. an eye on those guys farm system outfield pretty good on outfield um maybe a backup guy would be nice um i really don't think that mcdonald is going to get anymore so i think we're out of luck when it comes to that her an experimental piece. Get this guy as an experimental piece, you know? Brett Phillips. We're all qualified. I don't want to deal with that. Hayward Grichik. Not great. Mining as well. Don't have to be perfect. Hmm. Dustin Fowler. I forgot about this guy. Played for like, seen him for like one game. Of course, Juan Soto. I mean, he's gonna get a mega, mega. Luplo, Myers, Angle, Ronald Lozano. Don't know who this guy is. Which hitter? Speed guy. Okay. 
You know what? Experimental piece. Let's do it. Marmazara. I mean, he wouldn't be bad, but not bad on money either. 49 last year. Definitely not what we're looking for. There. Getting up there. Yeah, see, like, that's just my point, though. There's, there's nothing here. Really nothing here. The potential guys are not really worth getting much anymore. Roger Villa. Donna Phillips. All right. Oh, look at the speed on this guy. Michael Ryan. Uh, you know, you know we're in no hurry for a shortstop. Oh, he's got 81 arm, though. That's really good. And does not have an 81. You know what? We're going to bring him in. Uh, what was the other guy we saw? Third baseman, I think. Jack Gonzalez. I mean, this. There's some. There's some potentials here. Who's a first baseman? Lo Torres. I mean, building up. Uh, let's see here. Where is he? Probably past him. Past? No, he was a third baseman. Sorry, good lord. I'm... There he is. From White. Doesn't have a lot of fielding, but he would be a solid DH. Don't want a lot of money either, so I'm all about it. Let's try that. Then you go and you find a guy like Tommy Rose. All right. Um. So it looks like for catching, we may have a battery of Marchan and Marchan and Langleers, which doesn't sound great. I like Langleers, but in the, his time that he's been up, he just hasn't really shown that he's a he just hasn't shown that he's a, a first guy, you know. We're gonna take a risk on everyone else. It's probably a bad idea. Did we ever get our coaches? No. Come on, dude. Not that great. We offered him. Oh, whoops. Okay, so the first big thing, Walker Bueller goes to the Red Sox. Pete Alonzo goes to KC. Okay. Got to let some people go, so oops. My part. We're just going to release him. We're just going to release Brent. We're going to release Irvin. Totally forgot about Player limit. <laughs> Good job, me. Good job, me. Proud. Are you proud of me? And no, I don't, I don't really. We're just gonna release. Just release them and be done with it. Um. Uh, all right. Some of these guys signed back. What are we looking at? 95? So we gotta get rid of some more. 
We're not bringing Austin Allen back. We're going to just... We'll designate him. We're going to release Dermis. No reason to have him anymore. I think I have a backup plan for first base. Go ahead and release Arise. We're not getting offer. Ninety three players. Okay. I should have looked at this before I did all. Be a lot of releases here. So you read. All right. Do I have to go do all that again? Yeah, gum. Love when I accidentally waste. What was it? A third baseman. There was a third baseman. Jordan White. There he is. A short stop. There was a short stop. Buddy Elvis played in a couple of years. Uh, let's see. Where is he? Probably the speed. Right? No, it was not. It was. Bruce Weber. That gum it. Then left fielder. Did we say left fielder? Doesn't look like Crowder. Oh. Well, I cannot find. No, it's definitely not that. Come on, me. Yes. Just think, what was the name? The name. Phelps. Actually, I have a lot of right fielders. Probably should be. Roger Villa. What a good arm for one. You know what? I forgot what it was. People, some people have signed. Oh, Ronald Lazardo. That was the guy. Definitely going to be interesting. Hoglin, Valentine. So we got a lot of guys that signed back with us. Which is awesome. Very good. You will. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony, Minnesota, for getting your boy back. Actually, okay. Okay. 
That's perfectly fine. Don't need him. I really need that coach to sign, though. Why are you not signing? You should really sign because everyone else is getting taken. Thinking you deserve more money because mm, you haven't proven anything. Uh, is that why? Oh, you know what? Too bad. Man, big fight for Soto. Look at this. Yankees, Nationals, Braves. Ooh. Good one. People are getting a very aggressive offer from the Padres. Don't blame them. We could do that. Brandon Woodruff is still here. 27 is too much for my blood. Sorry. We won't know anything else till the end. Okay, just kidding. Woodruff did get an offer from the Padres, and he went there on a four year, $130 million deal. Padres are dishing. Soto goes to the Yankees. Oh my god. That is I should really be screenshotting this. Soto goes to the Yankees. Woodruff goes to the Padres. Bregman goes to the Blue Jays. Seven year deal. My God. This coach is still not answered. Come on, dude. I mean, you want three years? I mean, I might give you three years. You're even less interested. If I do this, what if I give you a... I don't care. Still nothing. The uh, Giovanni Gallegos goes to the Braves. Four-year, $72 million deal. Bieber goes to St. Louis. I don't know what the Padres were thinking. They did have them. Francisco Meja, Meja, the catcher. Was the Giants five years, 62. Not a bad con. Okay, and we have our farm director. Wheat. About time, my dude. Not a good farm director, but hey, you know what? They were getting picked up pretty quick. Uh, what are we looking at on budget? Okay. Who has not answered the doohickey? Okay, so Vaccaro has not accepted his. Really needs to. I'll give you a little more money. There you go, buddy. Other guys are going away. Okay, so Gore has signed his new contract for now. He's okay with his raise. Hogland is okay with his raise. <clears throat> DJ Rodriguez, I mean, bad for a triple A guy. Okay, so pretty much everyone's back. It's fine. No, I didn't. Okay. All right, here we go. I see Max Fried is out there. Who, boy, do we dare? Do we dare try to get another starter? I mean, it's probably not going to work. I don't think Mackenzie Gore has got. He does not have another option. So Gore would have to stay up here. It's fine with that in a way. Carl still hasn't picked. What a jerk. Come on, man. All right. Correa. Uriel. Oh, boy. You don't want some money. 
A million? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't really have room for him right now. Max Freed is out here. 14 and 7. 16 mil. Ooh, boy, that'd be quite a line if we had that. Just don't have room, man. Dugo is out here. Sale. 22 and 5. He's going to get some bucks. Roca, I mean, look at this. Why are the Braves not going back for these? You guys out of money? Any Jansen? 40 last year. Big strong guy, Tyler O'Neill. Eh. Look at that. Eloy Jimenez just chilling out. I mean, we're not really ready to... It, it, it kind of sucks on timing because we have our outfield set. I mean, do we need probably an out, you know, a backup outfielder? Sure, but I'm not going to pay a lot of money. Pablo Lopez is here. Never Sims went with I'm not going to get him. Is Sims. He struggled, man. 5-7, eh. Okay, that was Kershaw. There's a buddy Kershaw going 9-11. For the White Sox, 11 million a year. I wouldn't mind having Kirk. Just Mentor. There seems to be a fight going on for Mentor. Jordan Hicks. Padres are going to get him. You know what? That's, that's okay. I mean, can we get him? Hmm. am I looking at? The so Holmes of the Tail, they're going to come back. So we got one, two. Seer will be up in the majors. I'd like to have Seer. Move him back up here. Three. Miller's going to be in triple A. Maybe McDermott. Man, maybe we do need some reliever. Okay. Okay, maybe we do need some relief. Do need to look at some relief. I think that's what we're gonna do. Definitely gonna look at some reliever. Got 91 people already. No offers out there. Except Vaccaro. He's the only one. But maybe we do need to find a reliever. I think catcher, I think catcher is gonna solve itself. We're not gonna have a great battery. But chances are it's probably going to be Raphael Marchand and um Jay Langelier. I think that's what we're gonna. The catcher's okay. First baseman. I mean, I would like to find a proper first. Baseman. Let's see if see who's out here. Use Aguilar. I mean, thirty-four. I mean, that's not terrible. four mil for Aguilar. Hmm. Oh, Goldschmidt declining. Look at that power. Boy Rizzo's out here. Struggled though. 39 for Rizzo? Okay. There are some solid first basemen here. All right, so we can keep Rafi at third for his natural position. I 
on Moncada. Email for Yoan. That's a keep for me. Lady Davis. We want him. 31. Roy, 11.5. We're going to have to send some money here. Just trying to figure out which is the best way to spend it because we definitely have some options. Definitely have some options. Right, Phillips, your boy. I bread fill. Play Taylor. He's a. Uh, I'm sorry, though. Little Bob Hamilton. Okay. So we have some options. Ah, he just can't field, man. That's my only problem with Luke Voigt. He's got that power. He actually went down in his strikeout number. He had a lot of bats. Hmm. We have a case. You are. Row 34. Love my boy Rizzo. Here. All right, who's up for a bidding war? I'm thinking they can loot Void. Building is not good, though. I mean, that's literally my problem. It's fielding. We already have our DH. We have somebody else on the team that. Lears doesn't have it. I don't think Marshan has it. Does not. Because I like Lawrence Butler, but he has not been very. I mean, maybe if he kills it in AAA, we'll give him another look, but. He's just not been worth it right now. Um, oh, Davidson can play third, but not exactly. Meadows, Pinder. I mean, Pinder could be utilized more. Anaker doesn't do that. But he's in the last year of his con. Okay. So it seems like we are going to have to go first, it looks like. Options. Like I said, options. There's some options. I'm on Kata. Bad. Not bad. Switch hitter, too. I hate, I hate when I just, I'm so indecisive. 10.3. Royal Suarez Escobar at 36 is not. Everybody else down here is pretty. Much. Like a hey, there's our boy Tony Kemp. A little bit from Milwaukee last year. So 
Oh, for God's sakes, Jeff McNeil's on here. 25, what's that? Oh. All right. Who wants what? You want four. You want 4.7. Not enough of a difference. Juan wants 10. He's still progressing. 289. Strikeouts, though. 140 strikeouts. We don't need any more strikeouts. 122. I think Luke Voigt had the least. Yeah, he had 112. Okay. Boy, it's a big man. Big man, I just don't know if he... I just don't know, man. I, I'm so indecisive. Good luck with me cutting all this out and stuff, because that's not going to happen. Just use Moncada. Hurry, he strikes out. Switch hitter. I like the switch hitting part that, that he's got. Plugging went up. Hawks went up by a lot. Even still a base or two. 10 mil for Yoan. Red so or White Sox giving him a three year deal. What does he want? He wants a five. I don't think we're going to beat that. Jesus Aguilar has no one on the books here. Milwaukee and they won the they won the title. Do you not want a uh, champion on it? Don't really have any homegrown talent at first base. I like Luke Hoyt though, but he doesn't have any fielding. You know what? We're going to go with Yoan. Let's see if we can outbid here. It's third base, but we're going to slide him over to first base. So he's actually going to be our first baseman. 6'2", definitely tall enough. Seems like he stays healthy. Vision's not great. Power against lefties isn't that great either. Power against righties though. I'm all. I'm all about that. Oh god, this is a tough one. Luke Boyd's good against everybody, but like I said, that defense. I don't have anyone. We already have a DH and Hanniger. There's no reason to not have Hanager at DH. No, he wants way less money. Ah, oh, this is driving me crazy. Never gonna get this done if I keep making 
to make decisions like this. 34, 34. All right, we're just going to go with Yohan here. Let's take a risk. Let's give him two years. And you know what? We'll give him... He wants to be a star. I mean, I can't guarantee that. But you want to be a star? Go for it, you know? Two years, 20 mil. That's 10 mil a year. I'm all about it. Let's give it a whirl. Um, now, unfortunately, I think that would mean I need to let somebody go. Uh, because... We would reach our limit here. Release. Please. Okay. Okay, so that gives us a little more flexibility. Relievers. What we got here? Diego Castillo, 31 years old. No thank you. Jordan Hicks is still out there, but the Pirates are off. Do we actually bring back Jordan? Good. And bummer. Lefty starting to decline. Those are putting in a magic. 34 made. Five. 34. You know what? I have to go get Hicks back. Well, there's Luke Jackson. Why didn't he? Okay, Luke. Um, my guy. I would like to have you back, actually. Let's give you three mil, huh? Put you in the bullpen. How about that? Thought something didn't look right. Alvarez, no Ramirez. Yeah, see, there's just no one out here. Keanu Killa. No, we're gonna pass on him. Paul Fry, pass on him. Shane Green, Stripling. Cleric, Austin Pruitt, I can't stand a mirror. Um, Zach Godley, who was good for me in my Tigers franchise. I do like Zach Godley, but no use for him here. And these guys. Okay. Closer. Marins. Yeah, see, there's just no one. Chapman's here. But he's declining. Everyone's pretty much declining. Lucas Sims at 30 years old. Really bad year last. Five, six? Oh, man. I think we are going to offer him. What are they giving him? Three years, 20? It takes a two year deal. Let's see if that tickles his fancy. Bummer, 31 years old. Like I said, he is declining. Six blown saves. We, we have a closer that could be ready soon. I'm afraid that's just too much, though. 
Lucas Sims is filthy, don't get me wrong, but... Kimbrell, Barlow, 32, just no one. That stands out, you know. There's no one that's going to go, hey, you should be, you should be, yeah, you. You need to be my closer. Lucas Sims. I will give you a one-year deal. Now, why am I giving you a one-year deal? Probably not going to be great. Clutch is... Hmm. You know what? We're going we're gonna to go for it. Give him a one-year deal. See if he offers. Let's see if he takes it. He could take it. I don't think he will. But we can dream. So Sims, Moncada, Hicks, and Jackson all have been offered... money and to be honest there's really not much i can do other than that. there really isn't there's not a lot um unless we wait for the rule five but i usually like to wait for the rule five for um i usually like to wait for the rule five for um backup all right, Matt Chapman's on the trade block. Why? Blanco, too much money. Alfaro is still there. They are desperate to get rid of our. Go, 3.8. Not bad, but I don't need any outfielders. John Gray, too much. DJ, I don't know why he's up here, but we'll leave him up here. Let's dangle something here. Herman and Lawrence Butler, who's up here as well. Um, I don't think we're going to be pulling any trades. Not, not that I can think of. Let's see. Unsigned. Okay, no one has signed yet. We are allegedly number one in all of these. Oh. Again, not a lot we can do. Would be a big help though. All right. We've got arbitration. Fine. Diego Castillo goes to the Yankees. All right. Yankees were bad last season. They were really bad. Finished under 500. And to be honest, I don't know why they finished under. There's our boy. All right, first big signing of the offseason, Yohan Moncada. Two-year, $20 million deal. We're keeping it simple. We're betting on this man to have another good year. So we're going to put him in compliments of that, that fantastic lineup that we have here. So, Moncada is here. Everybody else still hasn't accepted the Tigers. And now the Mets are in for Hicks. Not a big deal. If we don't get them, it's okay. Agency three. Arbitration is still going on. That's not going to happen until... Caro, I don't know why you're not answering, my guy. But just, just do it, okay? Do it. So happy we got Monica. We have such a good-looking team. We just need better pitching. Just need better pitching. Need better. All right. Quick look at the trade block. Nobody interesting is still here. No. Nobody that we need. Okay. I think we can do. Carlos Correa goes to the Rockies. Seven year, $209 million deal. Whiff of that mile high air, Mr. Correa. Pretty good deal for you. No, forget it. I mean, I don't know what else to do with you. 
Oops, somebody offered. Somebody accepted somewhere. All right, we have Jordan Hicks back. Fantastic. Jordan Hicks is back with us. Fun organizing all this tomorrow. Um, Luke Jackson has come back. One year, $3 million. We will be okay with that. Don't think... And, okay, so Lucas is still being offered contract. Pretty much all we're looking at here. Lucas Sims. If he accepts, that's fantastic. If he doesn't, no big deal. No big deal if he doesn't sign. If not, we'll we'll throw somebody else out. That is such a big thing. Max Fried is getting some offers. Burns, uh, Burns, no offers for Burns. He's still on a qualifying offer. Stroka is getting some offers. Man, the Braves. What are you doing, Braves? Get your guys back. Means is still. Okay, John Means is still here. Bad. We don't need a starter per se. A lot of good people here for starters but i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with mckenzie gore man it's going to i like mckenzie gore I'm gonna put some faith into him we're just looking out for sims man that's pretty much it Got a trade. Dodgers require Matt Barnes from the Mariners for Chris Taylor and Brandon Lewis. Um, okay. Okay. Random trade. But hey, relief pitching is pretty thin as we just saw. So I guess that makes sense in a way. Oh my goodness. This is a big one. Phillies have acquired Javi Baez from the Tigers for Corey Knable and Luis Garcia. So it looks like they put a prospect package in there. Baez, who hit 283, three, yeah, I mean, that's an okay trade. I'll get that one. Brewers get Lourdes Goriel Jr., five-year, $46.5 million. Oh, my dog. That's a lot. That's a lot. Nothing. There's still nothing to talk about. Lucas Sims still hasn't made his decision. What am I forgetting to do here? Probably have to let one more person go. I don't know who that would be, but... All right, Toby White, Rodriguez. I mean, White has accepted. Good to know. Good to know. Huh, okay. Figure all this out later. That's a lot of right fielders. I think somebody. Needs to uh, we'll probably let Stowers go. It's okay. Uh, let's go to save. We're probably just gonna send to the Rule Five Draft. Which is in three days. Okay. Hey, that worked. More big contracts. Carson Kelly goes to the Yankees five years, $35.5. Yankees stocking up on catchers. They've improved their bullpen. Don't know if they've done anything with starters, but they're the Yankees, so surely they have starters. Brady Peralta, former Brewer, goes to a rival in the Cincinnati Reds. Five years, 94.5. That's a good contract. Pretty good. 
Can't wait to not see that. For that. And the Dodgers grab a hold of Corbin Burns. Six years, 174. Average of 29 million buckaroos a year. Okay. All right. All right. Good for them. And there's our boy. We got everyone we wanted. Lucas Smith, for some reason. I don't know why he went with a one-year deal for us. But we got him. We're going to try out Lucas Sims as our closer this year. He is age 30, 5.8 mil, cheaper. I mean, yes, we got Jordan Hicks anyway. But we have Lucas Sims in his natural position as a closer. Hicks would be a good uh, setup man. We're going to take a risk. We are going to take a risk. So to be honest, man, we have everything we need. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but we have everything that we need. Gotta hope the rotation gets better. Especially in Castillo's case. Uh, I am confused on why... I understand that Jack Flaherty's in the last year of his contract. I don't know why Castillo ex exercised his player option when he was going to make more money. Um, so maybe I'm misremembering. Trillian is still here. He needs to do better this year. Not, we've got some people. Did Vicaro finally... Carl is finally back with us. Awesome. We have everybody. That's it. We are we are pretty good here. Let's we'll just make sure we don't lose anyone. I mean, we could lose somebody. So let's see if we lose anybody. We're not. I mean, we'll look. But... Oh, there we go. Zach Giloff has been taken away from us. That's fair. That's okay. He didn't do well in AAA. He hit like 220, 230. He was considered a top prospect, but but the potential says zero, which is funny. Um, so the Marlins have him. Let's see if there's anybody, you know, worth looking at. Cole Stewart is always here. No one ever gets him. Francisco um, Eshelman. Who that is? He played for Baltimore. He hasn't done anything in three years. Okay. Harrison. Justin Foscu. A bad looking guy, but he would have to stay on main rotation. Or Brown. Okay, there's some actually decent pitchers. I mean, decent. Um. Potential, like, uh, these guys could be good if they given the opportunity, but I just don't see they are with us. Ben Allen, okay. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Um, plenty of potentials, for sure. But nothing that picks the interest. Brent Rooker, just, he's still on our team, I think. He is still in. No, he's not. I don't know where he's at. He's here somewhere. Kenley Moore. I don't think we really need anything. Lever, one, two. We'll have Clay Holmes back. Three, four. Deer will be up here. Five. Then we've got Sim, six. And, um, Hearn as the long reliever, seven. So we don't really need anybody. Okay, looking closers here. Line. Petcher, Mike Kaprisky. Kaprisky. Buddy here at Catcher. We're good there. First baseman, of course, we've solved that with the addition of Yoan Moncada. Wow, this dude plays everywhere. Buddy's 29. Blake Krim, the average. Don't need really anyone at second base. Third base, nope. Shortstop, nope. Outfield, definitely. But yeah, we don't need anybody.
Uh, I don't know who was taken. We know Gilaf was taken. I don't know who else was taken. I'm sure I'll be... I'm sure I'll find out later. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out later. Uh, look at transaction. Ah, okay. Here we go. So we did lose Irving Lopez to the Rockies. He was a very solid infielder. Um, and then we lost Gila. So we lost two infielders. Okay. Other than that, that's all that was taken. No problem. We definitely need to find another second baseman because Muncy is for sure going to be our starter. I put him on the 40 man first, right? But we need to go out and sign a second baseman free agent. Actually turned out well. Nothing bad has happened whatsoever. Kappa, 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 kappa. Major kappa, kappa. That's second baseman. Let's see if there's anybody left. He's happy. Where all those players go? They just go away with everyone else. Luis Carpio? Mane? Nope. Pika? Nah. Boy, there's a... Where did everybody go? We still have 7 million. We can't really do a lot. We really need second baseman. I mean... Good slide somebody over. It won't be him. Maybe Brett Harris. Play second here. Sourman. Yeah, we've totally uh, lost out. We've cleaned out our infield second base prospects. We will have to look in addressing that in the draft. At least we still have Brett Harris. I'm okay with this. It's our Nolan Jones will be good. Let's see if anybody wants Nolan. Because, I mean, I just won't use him. I have no need for him. Probably a second base prospect. Phenomenal. Okay, the Orioles... They claim that they need a third baseman. Whoops. Let's see who they have. Eh. Probably. I guess you could say they do. Andrew Perez are willing to give him up. I mean, as a party. Good stealing, though. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. This is an hour and 34. Well, you have to expect longer, guys. Come on. Red Sox, no. Yankees are willing to give up. We don't need starters. These are some nice starters that they're offering. Yo, Sanchez. And I know I'm not going to get a lot. I know for a fact I'm not going to get a lot for uh, this guy. But it's interesting to see what they're dangling. A lot of, a lot of specs. Don't need a... Don't need a second. Or we don't need a shortstop. Either. I think I'll change a position to somebody for a second. I think I'll use my one... I think I'm definitely going to use my one position change. The D, I guess, the right way to say that word. Let me do this. Let me see if this makes sense. 
just need a second baseman. Preferably a prospect. I'm okay with trading Nolan Jones for a prospect at second. They don't have to be an A potential prospect. But something... Sergio Sanchez, like I said, not terrible. Probably going to get the job done, though. Very good stuff. 24 years old. We have really nothing right now. I think he would fit perfectly. Let's just see what everybody else is offering. Just for comparison. I mean, if it doesn't say second base, I'm probably not going to be. Third base, we actually have enough third base with that going to lose. Um, Richard Hinkle. Oh. Come on, second baseman. Oh, there's a good one. Louis Nelson from the Astros. It would be a division rival. Oh, that's tough. Okay, left field. Alden McDermott. I mean, I'll even take the left fielder for I would add some. Uh, let's use the second baseman. He is only a 54. 19 years old. I guess Milligan could get his star, but he doesn't really fit. Uh, I'm probably going to pass on that one. Uh, that's tempting, but. Angels. Oh, Turner's no Rangers. Peter Tucci. Braves, what are you looking at? Marlins, Cody Morzaret. Morzaret. I hate that I can't pronounce. Dude, I'll be honest, uh, Blue Jays look like they're taking this one. I have no use for Nolan Jones. I just don't. He only plays third base. We have Rafael Devers. We could put Pender there. We could put somebody else there. He is for him. He's on the 40-man. He's not going to make it off the 40-man, so we might as well trade him away to a team that would use him. Brewers. Jared Raymond. Brewers, looking like it. Fifty-eight. One fifty-eight. Before in a sixty-eight, Pedro Rosado, Richard Lyon. Okay. Let's look at this Rockies. What they got here? This is one. Not a lot to show here. Deirdre is the other one. He's not really like either. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not feeling those guys either. Okay. You know what? I think the Blue Jays, I mean, the guy's 24 and he's a 66 overall, but he looks more complete than anything. I'll say that. I mean, he's got speed. It, though. Boy, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. 24 and 68. 24 and 66. Maybe I'm wrong. And Richard Lyon is 21 and a 58. Where's the other guy? Okay. You can hit. You can hit. Uh, I changed my mind. I was definitely wrong. I think what we are going to do... We're going to take off the reliever, though, because we don't need another one. Um, okay. You know what? Very simple trade. 
Rockies do. They say they need a third baseman. I tend to agree with that. They are using McMahon and Welker. Jones is um, younger. Overall is a little lower. Welker looks like he hasn't really even done anything. McMahon has struggled, so Nolan Jones could be a fit here. Nothing else in their farm system. Richard Lyon. Probably start him off in double A, though. See how he does. And we'll just have Showerman play second in double uh, A. think I'm going to go with that. 21 years old, 58 overall. He's even got a little bit of speed. It is slowing down. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. So here's our trade of the offseason, minor league-wise. Um, we're just going to do that trade. I think that made sense. We could still sign more people if we need to. Um, but right now, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with how this is going. Tigers go with Lopez, three-year, thirty-one point eight million bucks. What day? Max Free goes to the Brewers. They are replacing their aces with more aces. Why not? Right? Or even the same age? What can you do, man? And the reason I'm doing this is because. Um, Top catcher, Danny Jansen, goes to the Cubs for a year, 64.8 $64. million dollar deal. Um, Contreras, of course, is somewhere else. Shout out to the real-life Cubs for not trading. Mike Clevenger, three years, 53. That's not really it. Oxford Dugo, one of the top left fielders in free agency, goes to the Mets, five years, 81 mil. All right, and here comes the arbitration. Let me just save this real quick. I'm almost done. It looks like this is going to be about a two-hour stream. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, thank you. I was going to cut some stuff out, but I just don't think I will. Um, we have 90 players, so, you know, maybe the, the small detailed stuff I'll make off stream. Uh, I don't do spring training. I do like to look at people. But I'm not really into um, looking at that. I don't really care for spring training that much. I don't like that. It's got Lawrence Butler up. Butler may be a pinch. And that's being nice. Almost time for Farmer to get their debuts. I need to go sign some more outfielders. That's pretty much it. All right, so here comes the arbitration cases. Mike Soroka goes to the Tigers. My goodness. This Tigers team, they were good last season, this franchise. It looks like they're just going to get better with um, these acquisitions or these signings that they're doing. They are pumping out money. All right, so arbitration hearing. Okay, so they're going to side with us. 2.4 is his arbitration for Littell. They're going to side with us for Holmes, so 2.3. Pache also got his. They're going to side with Pache, so 1.8. That's fine. Taylor Hearn, they're side with Hearn. So we went two for two. Spring training is coming up more final situations okay no new contracts to renew which surprises me and then all this other boring stuff i'm probably going to set up off stream really not much more to talk about uh, spring training like i said not too interested i may make one but oh, here let me see if i can do Lawrence Butler, he just 
not he's not good. I mean he hasn't been what I was hoping he was going to be. We can't give him a shot now that we have Juan Moncada. Um So we are going to put here we go. Let's see if I can check. Alright, primary position we first. Then second and third. Be third and second. You can't play short. Second and third. Really want to do third and He had third and second, right? Let me make sure I have this correct. I don't want to mess this up. All right, so first and second is what he needs. He would need second and third. I wish I could put third base where the first base position is. Okay, so we know what we're switching to. We know what we're switching to. Let's go here. Again, first base. Second and third, that's going to have to be the best we can do. Accept it. There we go. Joel Moncada is our first baseman. It's fine. Okay. Two years, $10 million. We went out and spent some money. What's our budget look like? We still have some budget left. So maybe these final guys we can... You know, these small-time guys, we can do it. And we're going to have a lot of money in the offseason next year with Castillo and Flaherty. I think that's really when we're going to see the pitching turnover happen. Uh, see some of these prospects come up. Ramon Laureano is going to be a free agent. Chances are he won't come back. Pender will be gone. He probably won't come back. I mean, we can make some really good moves next season. Um, so, to be honest, this season is a let's go for it. And if it doesn't happen, we don't lose anything because we're going to be getting that money back in the offseason. So, that will do it. Oh, wait. Here, let me just make sure there's nothing. Okay. Um, nothing there. All right. I'm going to stop it there because I have to set up the uh, who's in what division and or level and stuff. All right. So, one hour and 48 minutes long uh, streaming time. Probably won't uh trim it because there's really nothing to trim i know there was some dead air about the yoan Moncada thing uh, i probably won't trim that though probably won't cut that out but if you happen to be here and you were lurking around in chat i know nobody didn't say anything that's fine thank you so much for hanging around appreciate it whether you're a bot or a real person if you're watching this on youtube thank you so much feel free to like the video tell me what you think of our signings there goes the motorcycle Tell me what you think of the signings. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you wish we would have got somebody else? There's always going to be that comment, which is fine. Fine. And keep an eye for game one of the season coming up soon. Thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day. Good rest of your weekend, I suppose. Or a good weekend. I don't know. See you at the O.co.